Hello, it's Yashino here and today in this tutorial I promise you that you will finally understand the hierarchy in the deformers in Life2D. Remember that this tutorial is part of my series How to Life2D where you will find very beginner friendly tutorials uh, where I explain different topics, I explain everything, every step so feel free to check it out. We have a lot of topics and I am slowly trying to complete uh, and give you a full guide on how to make a complete VTuber model. Also, I stream on Twitch. Uh, feel free to come, ask me questions if you have any doubts. I'm always open to explain you stuff. And yeah, thank you. Let's start. Uh, for this tutorial, I have actually focused only on the headset, this uh, section here, um, but what matters is the theory behind it all, okay? So after you understand this, you will be able to apply these concepts that I'm about to tell you about to every model or everything that you have. I don't know if it ever happens to you that maybe you are trying to create your eyes XY deformer uh, for your head to rotate and your eyes to follow the movement and maybe and maybe you have your deformers like this you try to create your uh, deformer that is behind me right now <laughs> you click create and it says, please create an object with the same uh, parent deformer selected and you don't know what to do because you have no clue what parent or anything means. Okay, so we can work on that. First of all, when we say hierarchy, what we mean is we are just talking about the relationships between the deformers. And we have these two names, parent, parent and child. Basically, every deformer that is more on the right is a child of the one that is more on the left. So, for example, head Z is a parent of head body Y perspective in this case. So, head body Y perspective is a child of head Z. But if I click on the arrow here, I see all of the child, children of head, body, Y perspective. I have made this little diagram here that I think is easier to understand. More than the left and right, I think that top down is easier to understand. Like this, we can have a look at parents that are on top and children are below them. So here we can see head, body, Y perspective is below head Z, so it's a child of it. Same thing goes for this. Basically, this diagram here is just sorry, a reflection of my model that I have here. So when you are creating your new deformers, Let's say that we didn't have this eyes x, y. Let's remove it. We needed to create it. I, I'm rigging right now and I need to create this deformer because I don't have it. I have i, l and i, x, i, r here. Let's look at the diagram. Let's say that I didn't have this eyes x, y here. And instead my eyes here were a direct child of head, body, Y perspective as it is right now in here in life to do. When I create a new deformer that contains other deformers and child, I need the child deformers to be on the same level. As you see here, I need to select only I, L and I, R because if I open them and select all of these, 
which translate to selecting all of these, they are not on the same level anymore. And this is why your, uh, we had the warning message earlier that we need to select objects with the same parent. Shock IL and IL don't have the same parent because shock IL has the parent, the parent of shock IL is IL. The parent of IL is head body Y perspective. This is why Life 2D is not letting you do this. So we need to select only IL and IR. But notice that as we do it, we select IL and IR and create a new deformer, call it eyes XY, created. The new one that we are getting gets in between here. So all of these items actually are inside of eyes XY. They are in it. It's just that you don't need to select everything to put everything inside of eyes XY. It's just it's like these are containers. If you have a box with I don't know one, two, three, four, five, six. If I have a box with six balls inside of it and I want to put the, this box and the balls inside of a bigger box I don't take the, the balls out of the box and then put everything in here I just take the, bo the box and just put it in here because the box already contains my balls you might think Okay, so I can, we say the same level, we can select things from the same level and create a new parent. So I can take these and put them in the same level. No, again, that you need, they need to have the same parent. So being on the same level doesn't necessarily mean that they have the same parent. For example, here, we have Banks Head Z, that here we have here. We open it, instead of it, Banks Head XY. If we open our eyes x1, then now if you look at it, they technically are in the same level, right? They are aligned. But again, they don't have the same parent. The parent is different. I cannot take these and put them together because Banks head xy is the child of Banks head z. Instead, i l and i r are a child of eyes xy. Now, seeing them uh, top-down probably helps you, but you, of course, have to understand how to read this. You can use these lines to help you. This vertical line that we have here indicates the elements that have the same parent. So if we have a continuous line, the elements that have their arrow on this line have the same parent. So if we follow the line, we start from Bang's head Z. We follow the line, eyes XY have the same parent of Bang's head Z. If we go down, nose head XY has the same parent. Which makes sense with our diagram over here. Same thing, if we look inside of eyes xy and we go down we notice that the two arrows of il and ir are on the same dotted line which means they have the same parent right it makes sense so while again while we're here selecting it we cannot select this and create a uh, deformer with all of this inside because if we go down here there are arrows that are not on our dotted line. You have to make sure that all of the elements that you select are on the same dotted line here. 
Okay, one last tip that I'm going to give you today is when we are working with um, the relationships of the formers, maybe when we have the XY rotation, some physics, and it's important how we place um, the, our deformers one inside of each other. So, for example, let's say that we have a deformer for our skull or whatever your item is, XY, and this doesn't make sense x and we have it moving uh, from the uh, left to the right right we have this movement uh, we want our um, deformer for the physics to be inside of our movement deformer and i'm about to show you why in just a second let me randomly deform this so let's say that i have this physics here and i have the movement here now if we if i select both of my deformers right i see that wherever my i move these two my movement is not getting bugged or anything because these two deformers are moving together what if i put this one actually outside so squish is a parent of school xy what happens now is that I have a deformer I have a deformer that is a child of squish school xy is a child of squish but when school moves to the right squish stays here And so we can get some bugs as you see right here the mod the, there is this weird thing happening right we don't want this to happen so in general my tip as you as i can show you here is keep your z movement parents on top body z parent of everything head z under it head z under it you see head z then x y inside and then your physics inside so in order we have body z body x head z head x y and then physics this is because we want our global movement to be a parent of our more specific movements. As we see here, school XY is a more global movement because it's moving our model from left to right. Instead, squish is less global than XY because squish is just creating this smaller movement. Instead, XY is creating a bigger movement. Okay, <laughs> I hope I was helpful. Uh, this was all for today's tutorial. It was um, faster than the other ones, but this is a very, very important thing to understand. You probably will still need a little bit of practice. Feel free to watch this again if you're a little bit confused. Um, but yeah, good luck with your rigging. Again, write any comment, comments if you have any doubts. Feel free to comment my stream, ask me question. And you always be welcome and good luck with your models. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.